This why is just hauling the 450 apparently. Nvidia's trying to go to 430. There it goes. That's the pullback right into the 50s. Come on. Still reacting in that area. Look at that five minute. Five minutes on green or red. Still holding up in that 60s area. Nvidia just broke. Same thing with spy. I'm gonna spy calls. This thing is moving. Got into that in the video as well. The video is moving too. This is a nice push. 10% already on these contracts. Holy cow, in the video. NVIDIA and Spire moving right now, 10%. Nice, look at that. Into the 40s, I'm out. Dude, if I do that one more time, I'm really gonna break that. I just, it's all right, I still made 14% on that. Full in, full out, I'll take it. First 20 minutes, easy banger. That was like, what, less than a minute? That was 30 second trade. That was a 30 second trade. Nice, let's go, 11%. That's how we do it. Great day, amazing day. Let's go right into the recap for the day. We took the video, we took spy today. Let's go over the spy trade first. As you guys can see, this came up to that 450. Number one, I'm not gonna be able to take it because how many green candles in a row and it just seems so overextended already. I waited for it to come down, retesting this area right here. It came down a little bit more than I expected, but it's whatever. Then it started coming right back up. Nice candle to the upside, shows aggression, so buyers in that area. Once I broke that 450, that's when I got into calls. I got in a little bit late. As you guys saw, it was already in like the tens by the time I got in, but it didn't really matter because this thing kept going. But I got in a little bit late, which was fine. There were still buyers in that area, so it was good, but I definitely could have got in a little bit earlier. And then next thing you know, this thing's had is a nice push, and that's when I was fully out. The problem with this was I accidentally was a full in, full out. I wanted to take some off, and I accidentally fully sold because I wanted to fully sell on the video. So what I usually do is hit that sell all button, as you guys saw on the live training video. And when I hit the sell all button, not only does it sell the whole NVIDIA position, but it also sells the whole SPY position. So I accidentally messed up there, but either way, it still worked out in my favor. I'm still up. And then NVIDIA, I took this above that 430. You guys can see this was a nice move, easy $2 move. Made about 13.5% on this as well. And then I made 14.5% as well. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see the daily recaps every single day. I'm two for two on the day. The exact percentages and everything like that is always on the Instagram as well as the live trading video on YouTube. But this was a nice $2 move on the video, easy and quick. And that's why I wanted to fully sell right there. Usually I don't get into two positions at the same time, but you know, sometimes it just works out like that. Either way, still a nice day. Can't really complain, honestly. It was a nice move on Spy and a nice move in the video. So until next time, this week has been amazing. This week has been awesome. I haven't lost a single trade this week so far. Tomorrow's Friday. You know, I just want to take the two for two for the day and just move on for tomorrow. Great week so far. If you guys are interested in live trading, I literally live trade this every single morning. The videos you guys see, the videos you guys hear me say in these, out of these, selling half here, it's all live in front of the chat room members as well. Traded with the team as well. So if you guys are interested in that, the link is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.